Hello again folks, it's been a while, um, I can finally see my workbench again. Um, our utility room in the house has been piled high with my rubbish, as the wife calls it, and she kept asking me to move it, and I kept saying I'll get it tomorrow, and I came back from work uh, probably a couple of months ago now actually, and the utility room was clear, and my workshop was piled high with my rubbish um, and I've left it and I've left it and left it and finally this weekend I thought right enough's enough let's get it tidied up and get back making some videos so that's what we're doing tonight so that's the reason for the the lack of content recently I know I always tend to start my videos these days with that sort of statement but I do uh, genuinely mean it this time I want to start getting back into making videos for you and hopefully this will be the first of many to come so one of the things that was piled up my workbench was this little kit here. Um, what is it? Well, it's a super cheap, um, I think I paid about 70p for this. It's a USB mains charger. And I thought I'd build it tonight and just show you how, um, well, how basic they are inside and what, you know, basically what poor quality components and, and, and safety standards, um, you know, are inside one of these things. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll build it. And of course, we'll try it out. So yeah, I think, let's see, I got this from, I think it was AliExpress or something, and it cost, yeah, I don't think it was any more than uh, 80p, including delivery to the UK, it's of course super cheap, and uh, you know, there's a reason for that. So what do we get in the package? Well, we get our schematic, you know, circuit diagram, uh, PCB layout, and everything is in Chinese, um, got a component list there, which is quite handy. Um, it is a, is that European? No, it's not European, that's a US type um, USB adapter. They didn't appear to do a UK one, so we're stuck with this. And of course, we'll test it out using one of Clive's uh, favourite death adapters. Uh, so yeah, really, really rubbishy plastic. Um, and I know from experience that these will be extremely difficult to solder onto, but we'll give it a go. We get a, a pressed fibre or paper PCB. Yeah, not a nice uh, FR4 or whatever board we get with uh, other kits from AliExpress. Um, little transformer, USB socket, uh, a couple of transistors, diodes, uh, a couple of caps. A really high quality, um, was that 0.5mm probably, um, solid core. Uh, lead that's for connecting our mains to the PCB. Ridiculous. Uh, optocoupler. Uh, and a screw and cap on the lead and stuff like that. So we'll just crack on ahead and, and uh, get it built. So what have you all been up to? Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a real while. But um, yeah, we're, we're back. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> How will we start? Right, as always, we'll do the uh, resistors first. And I can't really be bothered uh, decoding them. So the shoes, the good old multimeter. Um, it does uh, give us the positions on the PCB, as you can see there, um, and we can we can decode it from from this column here and this column here. So two resistors R four and R five are one kilo ohms. I should be. So let's just measure that. Yeah, close enough for me. So that was R four and R five. <clears throat> and we'll just get them uh, chucked in the board. There we go. I'll bend those out slightly. That was the yeah, was the one. And R five. Like so. Okay, um, I'll, I'll pause the video at this point and I'll get all the, the smaller components in uh, and then I'll come back to you when it's a bit more interesting. Save uh, me just sitting here in silence and rambling on about what uh, resistor values are getting in next. So bear with me, I'll catch you in just a second. Right, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've put in all the caps, resistors, the two transistors, and all the diodes. Uh, these uh, Zener diodes, uh, or the one Zener diode, and the, I forget what one this is, they were quite difficult to actually see which was which, uh, to get my little, um, what do you call it, little lens that I retrieved from a, 
uh, an old projector to to help me view that. But yeah, they're all in there. Um, so all the thing, the only thing left to really put on now is a little transformer, the opto isolator, a uh, USB socket, and a little lead. Now looking at the lead, I was actually just going to put it in because it's not very interesting. But I don't know if you can see that, but the the legs are all tarnished. So I'm just going to, I don't have uh, any fine paper in it and it's sandpaper into it. So I'm just using this little needle file just to to take that tarnish off. Like so. Okay. Uh, shot is the cathode. Now this gets spent at right angles to the uh, to the board so that it sort of pops out this little hole here just to give an indication of when the, the power is actually on. Okay. Try not to get my head in here. And what we'll do is we'll just tack up one side. It's not very elegant there, um, but I'm not elegant at all. And I think that should be okay. And then we'll just uh, finish off the other side. Like so. I'm making a very good job of this tonight. I'll trim those legs off. Um, I did actually tin up these. It actually took solder quite well. I was actually quite surprised because they're quite a, a large lump of metal. Sometimes they do take a bit of heat to get uh, the solder to flow onto, but didn't even need to, to use flux or anything. It was uh, on reasonably easily. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is pop the little transformer on. It can only go on one way. Um, two... Uh, there's two, uh, what do you call it, holes in one side and four on the other side, so it can only go in one way. If it doesn't go in, just uh, rotate it through 180 degrees. That should be reasonably easy to quickly solder up. And the, the uh, legs are short enough that it, you don't need to trim the leads off it, so that's pretty good. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Right, on to the opto isolator. Um, I thought this was worth uh, taking you through just because it's uh, it's not quite clear from the silk screen. Um, well, maybe to some people, but not to me. Um, you can see that there we've got a little notch in that side, and if we rotate the board over to sort of marries up with the um, marries up with the the image on the so the PCB layout on the paper, we can see that uh, the bottom edge, so uh, this edge here where the notch is, is uh, going to be pin one, and that is the uh, sorry, that's the anode of the, the diode in there for the opto isolator. So it's uh, going to be anode, cathode, emitter, and collector. So on the actual opto isolator itself, you can see we've got a little dot there. So that's the anode. So that means that it has to go in that way. Okay, does that make sense? Little dot. So the dot's at the bottom as we look at it there. Um, and that's going to go through. Um, and the dot's going to be closest to that little notch. Hopefully that made sense. Let's uh, try and get it in there. Should maybe have done this before we put the transformer on, but never mind. Just this little screwdriver to sort of bend the leads in. Oh, you can't see that, I don't think. There we go. Pop that in. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, bend the leads out very slightly just to, to lock it in place. We're not going to need to trim the leads on that either. So, neatly there. Um, As always, just try and uh, take the heat, do one side at a time, uh, and you know, uh, alternate sides, I should say. That's just going to minimise the risk of any uh, sort of heat damage to the, the components within that package. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. 
And finally, the last uh, component to go on is the USB socket, and that just uh, pops in there like that. We want it sort of parallel to the board, so you don't want it like that or sticking up like that. Just so, so that gaps are uniform and even. And we'll just give a big lump of solder on this side here. This is this is the structural element of the connector. Uh, once we've done one side, we'll just verify that that's uh, level. Could do it up very, very slightly. So that, if that's the case, just reflow it. Yeah, that should do. And then we'll do the other side. These are quite a big uh, mechanical connection, if you like. So it shouldn't really need to be adjusted after you've, you've set one side. Right. Let's... Uh, Solder up the connections for the USB. And we'll just refill that one one last time just to make sure we've got enough in there. And that, as they say, is that. So there you go, and there's our completed board. It doesn't look too bad. But as you can see, it's very, very at low cost. You know, there's not a lot of money in the components or the actual board itself. And, you know, these are being mass produced as a, you know, a ready to buy off the shelf thing. So, you, you know, I doubt if you're buying this for a pound assembled from eBay or AliExpress or whatever, I doubt there's been that much sort of quality control done on it. Right. Okay. So I suppose we better get this hooked up. Um, now, it did actually specify live on neutral on here. So live is at the top corner, uh, which is this lead. Now, these can go in either way, so I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to solder the, the leads on. Um, you could, you know, you could mark it as live and neutral, but it's not going to make any difference. Uh, okay, so there's one on. And just hold that for a second because that pin will retain some heat. So there we go. It's attached and secure. Now, of course, it would be best practice to to insulate this. But again, having seen what's inside these uh, previously, uh, you know, having taken these apart to see quality control, they're never insulated. They're just stuffed in there. Um, and, it, you know, it's it's not ideal when you look at the, the proximity of the... You know the components to that it's not a uh, not ideal so let's um slot it in here now it's designed in such a way that there's a groove for this edge of the pcb and that show um can you see that sort of flange on that usb connector that actually slots in and locates within the the uh, case itself like so so then we'll stuff these wires in probably a bit long actually and as you can see, that is not going to fit in there because the that capacitor is actually in the way. So I could actually bend the capacitor out of the way, or it's probably going to be easier, he says, to bend that out of the way. But you know what? I don't think it's going to work. How are we going to do that? So, you know, how... I mean, that is not safe at all in any shape or form. Um, that's just going to go into that can, the can of the uh, the capacitor. It, it physically, it physically cannot fit. That um, pin for that mains input is directly in line with that capacitor. Can you see that? Okay, so what were options? Yeah, I think we're just going to have to to bend it. So if I can locate, let's go into this. Uh, Draw. No, I'm going to have to pause the video just again. Uh, two seconds. Right, welcome back. Sorry about that brief moment of pause there. Um, okay, I took my trusty side uh, cutters and just uh, basically lumped a big bit of the, uh, the you know, the, the pin off at the back. It just wouldn't physically... Um, fit or bend or anything like that so yeah cutting it off was the only real option so uh, LED lined up quite well actually as well so we'll now just uh, ram this in here uh, that should clip in at the bottom which it does he says 
there we go and then we've got a little screw a little self tapping screw to get into that plastic um where's my little jealous screwdriver i don't know what i've done with my weir uh screwdrivers they are somewhere else in the workshop in a box or in a, a bag or something i don't know but there we go there we have it uh, one completed chinese uh, usb mains adapter now i have assumed i didn't even look uh yeah input is 100 uh, to 240 volts so it should technically work so let me bring in the finest home base four-way extension lead home base if you don't know is a uk sort of diy store it was bought over by bunnings of australia i get really excited about it because bunnings sell some really good uh, gear the tactics range i've re reviewed a couple of their bits and pieces uh, they're really good quality and uh, bunnings realized that they couldn't make home base work and sold it for a pound uh, last year i think or early this year quite disappointing but there we go yeah anyway it's a home base <laughs> plug we will take our death adapter and put that in and um, <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous about plugging this in well let's do it well we've got an LED lit up so that's obviously good and the next thing we'll do is plug in one of these USB doctors or whatever and that tells it's putting out 5.39 volts and of course there's no drain on it just now so it'll probably just say zero when it switches over yep zero amps and Rather than risk my uh, £1,000 Note 9 or whatever it is I've got, um, I will use this old S3 Mini or something, and we'll see if it actually works. And there we go, charging. And it's currently drawing half an amp. Um, yeah, as you can see from the way I'm holding it, that is extremely dangerous because clearly little fingers may be able to get in that. Uh, if I just pull this out, I mean, at that point, I mean, I could get my finger in there. Uh, so certainly one of my children uh, would be able to get the finger in there. Um, not safe at all. Um, it does work. Um, of course it does. It's, it, it's designed to work, um, but it's not safe. And I would advise you not buying one not building one uh, or anything like that they're just not safe and you know just don't use them so there we go that was uh, a little reasonably quick video no it's not it's nearly 20 minutes long as mine's always are i like to ramble as you know um but yeah that's it built so thanks for watching um yeah i hope to be doing more videos in the near future so thanks for sticking with me for all those people that already subscribed. If you have not uh, not already subscribed and you'd like to see some more of my videos, then by all means, please click on my fat head down here to subscribe. And as always, take care of yourselves and all the best. Oh, and there's one more thing. That's what you should do with those. See you later.